Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom with Cooking Series Volume 25. This is a sausage and lentil soup. I do mine in the crock pot. However, you could also do this recipe on your stovetop if you don't have a crock pot or just don't want to use a crock pot. So for on the stovetop, once you get everything in the pot, you're going to want to let it simmer for an hour and a half. And if you're doing it in the crock pot, you're gonna to wanna to do it on five hours on low. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is some chicken broth. This is a 32 ounce carton. You're gonna need one can of diced tomatoes. I like the fire roasted, but you can use non-fire roasted as well. You're gonna need some celery, some carrot, some lentils, of course, an onion. I might use maybe three quarters of this onion since it's a little bit on the larger side. You're gonna need some ground sausage. You can use any sausage that you like. I'm using the Bacon Lovers. You're gonna need a zucchini. This is a medium sort of size zucchini. For spices, you're gonna need garlic. You can use fresh garlic um, or the garlic like this that's already chopped and minced. Some red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, some basil, and a couple bay leaves. And then you're also going to need parm cheese and parsley, but not until the end. So the Parmesan cheese and the parsley, almost I use as sort of a garnish, if you will. So um, with, it, the, with the exception of these two things, all of this is going to initially go into the crock pot. So I'm going to start off by boiling my lentils for about 10 to 15 minutes um, just to make sure they're clean for one and two to soften them up very, very slightly. So I'm going to get these in again um, for a boil 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to get my sausage frying up and while the lentils are boiling and the sausage is frying, I'm going to prep my veggies. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my lentils in a pot of water that I'm bringing to a boil. Again, 10 to 15 minutes, let it boil and then drain them. My sausage is frying up and I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up the veggies. Okay, so my fresh veggies are cut up, zucchini, carrot, celery, and onion. What I'm gonna do now, guys, is my sausage is done. So I'm gonna put the sausage right into the crock pot and then I'm gonna get these veggies into the same pot to get a little bit of a crust on them. I'm gonna add a little olive oil, so let me go ahead and get the sausage out of here into the crock pot and show you guys how to get these veggies going. All right, guys, so I put this cooked sausage, fully cooked, in the crock pot. So that it doesn't dry out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my broth. Not that I think it would dry out um, that much because it's only gonna be in there by itself for a little while. But I just would go ahead and get the broth in. I already have my crock pot on low. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on there. In the same pot pan that I cooked the sausage in, I added a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and get my veggies in. And you want the pan to be hot have it on about medium high. Just kind of toss this around. You're not going to fully cook these. We just want to get a little bit of flavor on them. So again, medium high pan, a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to let these, oop, I lost a carrot. I'm going to let these kind of move around in here, hang out in here for about five minutes, and we're going to bring this soup all together. And by the way, my lentils have about two minutes left, and I'm going to drain those and get them right into the crock pot with the sausage and the broth. Okay, veggies are looking nice. I added a little bit of salt and pepper. 
very little bit. Uh, veggies, especially fresh veggies, need salt to bring out their flavors, actually. So with that said, I'm not going to add any salt or pepper into the soup. I would highly recommend you do the same because if you add too much salt now, you can't take it out. Versus if you just wait and salt your veggies and pepper your veggies, if you find when the soup is done that it needs salt, you can go ahead and add it then. But if you add it now and it's too salty, you can't take it out. So a couple more minutes on here. Lentils are drained. I got my tomatoes open. Let's go ahead and get this soup all pulled together and then we'll add the veggies last. Let me go ahead and set up my tripod really quick, guys. All right, again, cooked sausage is in here with the broth. Let me go ahead and get my lentils in first. I'm going to get my tomatoes in, one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, and let's get my seasoning in. Let me grab a spoon. So I'm going to do a heaping teaspoon of garlic. I love garlic, keep in mind. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes for some heat right on top. Again, I'm not adding salt or pepper. I'm going to add three small bay leaves. I'm going to add a couple shakes of dried basil to equal about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon. Let me go ahead and give my veggies a stir and I'm going to get those in as well. Hey guys, last but not least, the veggies are going in right from the pan into the crock pot. No middleman, so hot pan right into the crock pot. And it's good that they're nice and hot because they'll help the broth heat up too as well. Okay, so everything is in. I'm gonna go ahead now and just gently move everything around. And honestly, this is actually a pretty healthy soup Minus maybe the exception of the sausage, but really it's very healthy. If you don't want to put the sausage in and want to have it just as a vegetarian soup, that would be fine too. But I love meat in my soups, just me personally, and I really love this soup. I've actually been making this for a long time. I've always made it in the crock pot. I think I've only made it on the stove top once, and it was just as good and obviously a lot quicker. So that looks pretty darn good to me. I'm just sort of tucking any veggies and meat sort of down in the broth so everything gets cooked. That looks really good and smells delicious already, guys. So here is what it looks like before I put the lid on. Again, I'm going to do it on low for around five hours. I found sometimes four and a half hours it's done and sometimes it's closer to five and a half hours. I will give it a stir if I'm home in a couple hours. If not, that's completely fine as well. It'll just do its thing. So lid is going on and it's already set. I had it preheating for five hours, so I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're at the halfway point. Take my lid off and give it a stir. This is as close as I can get, guys, because the lens will fog up. But you can already see it's coming together nicely and really, thickening up a little bit. It's a nice hearty soup. I'm going to put the lid back on and let it go for another couple hours. Okay hey guys, it's all done and looks really good. I just have to fish out the bay leaves and I'll go ahead and plate it up and show you a final look before I dig in. Okay guys, so I added some parm cheese and some parsley right on top. Now this is a really thick soup as you can see and that is because of the lentils. They soak up a lot of the broth. If you prefer a more brothy soup, just feel free to add another couple, uh, maybe 16 ounces or so of broth if you want it more brothy. And if you do have leftovers when it's in your fridge overnight, that's going to suck up a little bit more of the broth as well. So if you don't want it thick like this, it's almost borderline like a stoop, like a combination of a soup and a stew. I personally like it this way. I think it's really hearty. But if you want it more brothy, feel free to go ahead and add more broth. As always, I will have the ingredients and instructions typed up down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.